For the past few weeks, I was receiving a lot of queries about how to start learning After Effects. What is the exact step-by-step -step process? And how much you need to know to confidently call yourself a professional motion designer? If you have any of these questions, you are at the right place because in this video, I will share with you a 4-week roadmap on how to master After Effects, even if you have never touched the tool yet. By the way, I already have a detailed course on After Effects which is freely available on my YouTube channel, so you can access it from the link provided in the description and I will also keep on referring the lessons of this course uh, throughout this roadmap which will make it easier for you to navigate throughout the course. So now starting with week 1. If you haven't touched After Effects yet, your first job is to get familiar with the user interface of After Effects and the most commonly used UI panels and how to use it. So for that, you can refer to lesson 1 and lesson 2 of the course. Once you are familiar with the user interface, it's important to not dive too deep into the technical aspects of the software yet. Instead, start by learning how to create basic keyframe animation just using the transform properties of a layer. This approach will help you in getting more comfortable with the application. To be honest, After Effects is a complex tool and when you open the software for the first time, you may get overwhelmed by so many buttons and options that you have to work with. However, when you have created something that you can share on social media or show it to your friends, you will find yourself more motivated to learn more about the software and explore its full potential. Once you have done that, the next step is to learn the different types of keyframes that are available in After Effects and most importantly, when to use it and how to use it. Understanding these keyframes will help you in creating smoother animations and control the motion of your animation projects even before diving into the motion graph editor. When you are creating something in After Effects, you would want to export it as an mp4 or gif file so that you can share it on social media platforms and for that, you need to learn the best ways to render your animations. So for these concepts, you can refer to lesson 3, 4 and 5 of the course. And that concludes week 1. Now let's move on to week 2 of mastering After Effects. Once you are familiar with the keyframe animation, it's perfect time to dive into the motion graph editor so that you can animate complex motions and transitions to meet the industry standard and quality demands. After Effects has two different types of motion graph editor, value graph and the speed graph. So both of them are equally important. So focus on mastering both of the motion graphs one by one. And uh, for guidance on learning motion graph editor and how to use motion graph editor, you can refer to lesson four and five. Once you are familiar with the motion graph editor, now it's time to learn how to use the motion path so that you can animate objects in an arc. In many commercial projects, you would need to animate objects in a curved motion path and that is also an important animation principle. So to learn how to use motion path, you can refer to lesson 8. Now once you are completely familiar with motion graph editor and motion path, next you should learn shapes in After Effects. Just by mastering shapes in After Effects, you can create a lot of cool animations without using any external plugin or any external assets. That's the power of shapes in After Effects. So start by familiarizing yourself with the various tools that are available for creating shapes and how to use them to create different types of shapes as per the requirement. And then learn the different properties of a shape layer and how to morph shapes. This technique will again be very useful in many animation projects. Once you have learned the basics of shapes in After Effects, then move on with learning shape modifiers like trim path, repeater, merge path, and zigzag and a lot more. So these are some advanced techniques with shape layers with which you can create cool shape effects and transitions like this. So learn everything about shape layers you can refer to lesson 9, 10 and 11. After mastering the shape layers, the next crucial step is to learn masking and track mats. So this is again an essential technique which you need to use in almost any motion design projects. Understanding masking and track mats will help you in creating more refined and complex animations by properly controlling the visibility of some particular elements and object and creating dynamic effects. To learn masking and track mats, refer to lesson 13 of the course. And that concludes week 2. Now let's move on to week 3 of mastering After Effects. 
In week 3, you should start with text animation. By text animation, I don't mean by applying effects and looking for various external plugins to create different types of text effects. I mean, of course, that is also important and needed in many cases. But what's most important for you right now is to learn what you can do with just using text layers and the inbuilt tools and presets that are already available in After Effects. Like learning how to use layer properties of a text and then learn how to use text animators. So text animator will open up a lot of creative possibilities for you for text animation in After Effects. And then there are also some text animation presets in After Effects in the effects and presets panel. So try applying it and see what happens. So for text animation, you can refer to lesson 14 of the course. Up to this point, all your work in After Effects has been in 2D space. Now it's time to explore the 3D space in After Effects. So start by learning uh, about the different properties of a 3D layer, and then move on with learning how to use and animate the 3D cameras, and most importantly, learn how to effectively work inside the 3D space in After Effects. For in-depth guide on 3D in After Effects, you can refer to lesson 15 and 18. And that concludes week 3. Now let's move on to week 4 of mastering After Effects. Up to this point, the technical knowledge that you have gained in After Effects is sufficient to start working on commercial projects. But the techniques that you will learn from here onwards will elevate your skills even further and it will open up a whole new world of creative possibilities for you in After Effects. Now you should learn how to use puppet tools to add secondary animations and distort layers in After Effects. Whether you want to animate plants waving, movement of hair or tail or some loosely attached elements, you can animate all of this element very easily using the puppet tool. So to learn how to use the puppet tool, you can refer to lesson 16 of the course. And finally, you should learn expressions in After Effects. So learning how to use expressions in After Effects will give you a massive edge because many people in the industry don't really know how to properly use expressions. I mean, generally people used to avoid using expressions because they don't want to code. But it is not that uh, tough to learn. I mean, it is relatively a lot easy. And the good part is you don't even need to have a prior coding experience to be able to use expressions effectively. So there are all total of eight expressions, which in my opinion, you need to know to meet all the industry requirements. So for learning expressions, I would suggest you to refer to lesson 17 of the course because there I have shown you how to use those expressions using real life examples. And finally, you should learn or rather do a lot of experiment with the effects that are already there in the effects and presets panel. So in the effects and presets panel, there are already a lot of effects that are inbuilt in After Effects. So your job is to just randomly applying it and see what happens. If you get stuck or confused, YouTube is already there. Just search it up on YouTube or Google, or you can ask for help on Adobe forums or even uh, Reddit. So that concludes the four week roadmap of how to master After Effects just within 30 days. Now, even after mastering all the techniques that I have mentioned in the, throughout this video, it is a, there is a very high chance that you may get stuck while working on projects in future. And if that happens, don't get panicked, rather look for solutions. So you can directly search up your solution on YouTube. There are already a lot of great tutorials that are available on After Effects on YouTube, or you can even uh, search it up on Google or even look for solutions on uh, forums like uh, Adobe Forum or even communities or After Effects communities in Reddit. So if you keep the experimentation and learning approach, you will definitely find solutions. And good luck to your motion design journey. Also, that's the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.